Hello, 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 hello. It is I again. So we're on um, episode 82 of this Let's Play Darth Mod Empire Total War playing as Great Britain on the hard settings. Uh, yeah, so last time we had um, a campaign y, catchy up -y kind of thing, really, wasn't it? Um. I await your command. I think we've basically done everything. Um. How may I be of service? Shadowing the target. Good. Uh. Uh. Right. Just going to do a quick fact check. One, two, three thousand five hundred. Uh, that's those, so... And again, garrison, so you're looking at garrison muskets. I'm probably looking at between six and 8,000 in there, aren't I? Christ. Hmm. I think the clever thing here to do is to run the end turn, really. Let them rebuild. <laughs> They're going to take on six to eight thousand. They really need the full numbers. Um. Yeah. Uh, right, yeah. Also, I'm, I'm also going to have a think out loud during the end turn about what to do about this. Uh, let's get that running anyway. I'm, st I'm still undecided. Base bar, move along the bus. Yeah, I'm, st I'm really undecided about Azerbaijan, how to approach it. On the one hand, it's tempting to go in there and either just keep it or try and flog it off, but um. Can't imagine Sweden one in it. It's just, uh, hmm, it's just too far out of out of their comfort zone, really. So if I was to try and fob it off to, oh, hello, um, I'll get stuffed. Can't even be bothered to haggle with you. It's that far off. <laughs> um, yeah. Mm. I'm really undecided about this. Um, I can't see Sweden one in the region as much as I'd like them to have it, sell it to them for a handsome profit. It's not going to happen, is it really? Um, if I keep it, presumably Dagestan being my neighbour are going to kick off and they have a wealth of nations as protectorates, so that's going to potentially throw me headlong into a whole string of wars that Although I'm close to being ready for them, I, I could do with doing it on my own terms, really. Right, so we've got an agent provocateur up here. So, let's get you down here, that'll do. Which one was that? That was that one, wasn't it? Going oh, Christ, got another one. Pardon me. Enjoying my tea again. Uh... I think not. How can I be of service? You can get on that fucking boat and stop fanning around. That's what you can do. Are there any more kicking around that I want to move along? Did I have some up here as well? Yes, I did. Oh no, he's no, he wants to go there, doesn't he? It's Who else? Do we have an agent? Ready for order. Uh, thought there was. Must have made it up. Hmm. 
I've got two agents. Um, I guess really it's sensible to leave them there, isn't it? About up there. Awaiting further orders. No, Sergeant. Right, you get off to. Um, where do we want you? Where do we want you? Hmm, Europe. Oh shit, another one. <laughs> mm, let's get you down there and I'll decide what to do with you in 17,000 turns when you get there. Good old Matty boy. Still larging it up in uh, Azerbaijan. Another mission. Discretion. No. Is Unit recruited. Construction. Not bothered. Whatever. Who snuffed it? Oh, he's a gentleman. So one of me gents has snuffed it. Too much of the good life in university. Oh. Yeah, catch up. Where to, Thank you, Emmett. Oh yes, this is building one's forces up, isn't it? So I think Any what I'm going to do is build up the fleet in this stack. If you attack that, you can have it. I'm not bothered by that. Orders, uh, okay. Oh, we got money. Ooh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> we have. Marvellous. Uh, so, I'll build up my own stuff first. Not bother buying any of that. Uh, that's actually worth doing, isn't it? 15% tax income bonus. Um, Call it six grand for the sake of working the numbers out. Fifteen percent is six nine hundred quid a turn. So call it eight fifty. Knocking it down. Uh, take about a dozen turns to get that back. That's worth doing, really, isn't it? Despite the cost. I think I probably need a couple more force as well. Yeah, it's time to start building that now. Hopefully, if that money keeps up, it's time to start building the money up. I think in um, sorry, start building the fleet up. Get my words out. Something that vaguely resembles the English language would be good. Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna upgrade geographically. So I'm gonna start in this corner and basically spread. And then when India's done, I'll move to America. I'll start with the home one, of course. Safest place to upgrade. Uh, actually, let's make sure I haven't got to retrain any of my brigades. They're in good shape. They're in good shape. How are you? And in good shape. Excellent news. Right. So I'll do the movie about you bits in a minute. I'm just going to... Um, to be honest with you, I'm biding my time. I'm... Uh, Fudging the issue because I'm still still deciding what to do about Azerbaijan. Frankly, not convinced. And uh, you know what it's like if your instinct tells you no, think about it, or you're not is not convinced. It's usually a pretty fucking good idea to listen to your old instinct. In my opinion, it's uh, your subconscious saying you've missed something in your calculations. I'm going to have a little thinky-winky while I'm farting around. Not bothered by that. Okay, so that's all the regions up to there. We'll do a bit of that. So we've got 8,000 left. What's that? Right, you're not going to need... Oh, 
Hello. What are you doing there? In the land that time forgot. I'll do that as well. Can I do that? I'll do that one too. Come on, I've got to make a decision here. Stop fighting around now. Right, so let's think... I'm just repeating myself here. If I capture that, suddenly Georgia and Dagestan are my neighbours. Dagestan at the moment don't give a shit either way, but look at that. Ludicrous. Oh, and them. And them. Uh, if I border them and the AI does its usual stuff, they're not going to like it. They'll declare war and I'm probably going to have this entire array of nations against me. Which, whilst I don't mind that, I'm going to be massively on the back foot. So the alternative is to capture it and get rid of it quickly. But I just can't see Sweden one in it. Who else are my allies? Well, nobody. <laughs> yeah, okay, because Prussia are gone. Uh, Hanover? Why am I at war with Hanover? Really? Let's just do peace with them. My words of choice are bollocks and fuck. <sighs> yeah, that could just cause me headaches that frankly I can do without at the moment. I need a, I need another... To do that, I mean, I could hold this with one brigade. I could hold it with a part of a brigade. That's not the problem. But I'd need, I think, three brigades down here just to hold the initial onslaught off and then to attack and clear them. And the other problem is the navies. There's going to be so many fucking navies. For, I know they're not all necessarily going to declare war, but most of them have got a decent navy that I've come across at some point. Plains Nations, purely land, Hanover, whatever. And the land, their naval. They've got big navies I've seen around. Yeah, I just do without it. Alternatively, I ally with them. Russia won't like me. <coughs> no current treaties other than a trade agreement. Oh dear. Sorry about this, you're just listening to my fucking cogs wearing at the minute. Right, okay. I think what I'm going to do is, because I'm not sure, I'm not going to do what I was originally going to do. I think I'm going to listen to me instinct and take the fucking hint that I'm probably yes, missing something. Immediately. So, for the time being, 2nd Irish Brigade can get on a Oops. ship... On our way, Captain. Pull away. Ready for action. Heave Ready away, boys. Heave away. The Immediately. third Indian Brigade can get on a ship. Forwards. March. Come about. Aye, sir. Aye, aye, Captain. Sir, your orders. And order. Get the militia in place. Got a regiment. 
A couple of regiments of uh, dragoons, a few regiments of militia, that'll do for them. I suppose there's nothing else, I've got to prepare to wreck them, haven't I? Even if I'm not hanging around. Hmm. Sometimes like this you wish you were just playing and you could take your time, but um It's a good income, but what grief is it gonna leave me with? <laughs> yeah, um I'm I'm not gonna do it this turn. Yeah, um, I don't want, yeah, mm, yeah, okay, sorry, sorry about this episode, for those of you watching, um, just gonna run into and see what happens. What am I missing? in silence. <laughs> Someone's been a naughty boy. Alright, what's this? Ship's orders yes. with your majesty. Make ready orders. Officer on deck orders. Way any and orders? Set sail! Jump to it and look lively! Ready and waiting. On our way, Captain! Mm, got some heavyweights there, aren't there? Aye, aye, sir. Make ready! Under sail! Aye, aye, sir. Ship's orders! I haven't really got enough to hold, then. to them, I think. To Brazil. So that evens the score up in Brazil a bit. First, G 
changing position. Seeing, but unseen. <laughs> Apologies for the deafening silence. I'm um, just chewing things over, really. I do need some dragoons up there, though, I think, because uh, if he comes a raiding. I'll send the first regiment of the Punjab dragoons out. More orders? He's a bugger of a... I suppose at the end of the day I'm not going to know what's going to happen until I do it, am I? So, um... Hmm. Let's do this. <sighs> Damn me. <laughs> I'm not a fan of being undecided, apart from being very boring to watch. It's uh, standing still is quite, quite negative, quite destructive. And there is a time to stand still, but this isn't it really. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just going to buy my time for the rest of this episode. We'll do this quickly anyway. Um, should take a few minutes. General and staff at your service. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right away. Where's he gone? Over there. And he ain't going nowhere, by the looks of things. Let's speed it up. Whilst me bods move into position. So I'm going to have to be a bit finickety on this one. I'm not getting into a slogging match with him. I'm going to constantly have to have one in front, one behind. A Dragoon Sandwich. Close. Oh, you're coming this way. Fire at will off because they fire where they are, they're not going to see a fucking thing. I wonder if I can lure them up there. Volley. Just enough to turn them around, hopefully. That's why they're facing that way. 
in the volley. Volley guys. And retire. Fuck out of there. You didn't hit a barn door. Quite hard work of this, isn't there? There's not many of them. Giving them their volley? Yeah, they have. And I've left them there and I shouldn't have done.
gonna come after him. Oh, fuck's sake. Come on. Getting a bit low on ammunition, then. Eh? Gonna end up with a fucking death of glory charge soon. Come on, come on. One more volley. That's enough for you. That's enough for you. In with the sabres, chaps. And now we go fast. Pick them apart bit by bit. Who the fuck's shooting? Oh, you twat. Didn't somebody resembling me say, don't fire? It's got to be it gone. Uh, one more away for a thin mint. Let's just stop one of them. You're getting in each other's fucking way now. Done. <coughs> All right. It's that funny little thing out of the way at least. Seventeen lost, most of them from friendly fire, you knobheads. Yeah, so it's the end of this episode. I keep apologising, but you know. Hasn't been a particularly interesting one to watch possibly. Don't know what to do about that. Seventeen thirty four I should also start preparing for Spain, so I think boats are the order of the day. Lots and lots of building and stuff like that. Uh, so I'll wrap this one up and back for the next one in a little while. Ta da!